After ascending from every arc and saving Earth, I now have 100 days to be Genesis Part 1 and Part 2. No worries. But to make things harder, I have to beat 58 missions and Alpha Motor by day 25, beat 116 missions and fix every glitch by day 50, complete 168 missions and defeat the Alpha Master Controller by day 75, and finish Alpha Rock World Prime once and for all by day 100. Seems impossible, right? Well, let's greet our new companion and start this insane journey. Hello, I'm HLNA, a fractal personality designed to be your gun. Just listen to me and you won't get yourself killed. Probably. I'm really stupid. That is not where I wanted to be. Away from is a good one, huh? I didn't- I chose Bog, not Arctic. <laughs> Beginning my adventures in a far more frigid region than I intended, I gathered up some bushes, then headed off for the bog. Let's go southwest. And wouldn't be surprised, this is the bog. I crafted up some basic clothes, tools, and weapons, then headed over to the ocean to hunt some hide. I then fixed the ocean yeast glitch, worked on some foundations and a raft, then worked on some supplies for the raft. I fixed some more glitches, then started up Wave Ray 64, unbeated on Gamma, Beta, and Alpha. After heading back to the bog to get a basic setup, and farming some hide, I started working on some better tools. I purchased some pelts, and made some fur gear, before night fell. Sure. I grabbed my setup, and then headed over to the arctic. Here I got it all placed, then making a quick detour for some narc berries, I collected and cooked some prime meat, actually the one that was uh, over and tamed the moss chops. Ah. I headed home crafting a gate trap for Procoptodon. Oh my gosh, there's a 140 there. Just gotta be careful with that. There we go. Put, I pilted a lot of drinks into it. Yeah, there we go. I headed over to the frozen lake, taming an otter to eat. Thank you. Before the roo finally nope, tamed. Nope, it's tamed. Nice, let's go. I killed Novus for some pelt, then farmed some more berries, then crafted some preserving salt to keep my mutton lasting a little longer. I headed over to the ocean, hunting for Baslos. 130. Okay, let's check her out. Okay. It's not like top tier, but I mean, it's a 130. I tamed the Basilu and its mate up, then headed home for some fresh gear. I headed back to the bog, starting up Dota Ball and beating it on Gamma, Beta, and Alpha. Nice. I then started up Bog Rally <laughs> and King of Swing. Oh no! And with the amount of missions I'm gonna have to be doing, all the races and gathering missions will now be only shown on alpha runs. And we're good, let's go. I then headed off for Bog Beatdown, murderizing the local bug population. For wave 2, I slayed a wyvern and a horde of snakes. A lot of snakes. Wave 3 brought some standard bog wildlife and giant dodos. Wave 4 brought more aggressive wildlife, most notably spinos. I'm blind! I cannot see! Wave 5 combined all previous waves, and after getting a little overwhelmed, I switched to a flamethrower. After killing them all, crossbow. I grabbed a crossbow and damage buff, beating Bog Beatdown on Gamma difficulty. Sweet! Alright! I decided to run again before midnight struck. Mission done. I decided to work on the base today, building up a foundation, a ramp, some windows and walls, then building up the roof. I made up a preserving bin and stored my mission loot, then headed to the frozen lake again, stealing from some beavers and killing some penguins. Ah! Beavers! Crap, they're locking me underwater. They're locking me underwater. That's not good. Okay, run for it. I named up a cop to Don. Biggie cheese and set up my basil breeding site. After working on some of the standard grind, I checked my bassy babies, got out a breeding pair, then worked on collecting some more berries. Then the blood grind began, hoping to tame a bloodstalker. And finally, after a couple days, I collected a few hundred blood packs. I crafted some tranquilizers and a long neck, then set off for the bog to tame some moss chops.
I worked in some ghillie, then hunted for the elusive Island. bloodstalkers. Uh, yeah, can you get out of the way? I'm trying to look for bloodstalkers. Making streams and survivals. Oh, found one! Alright. 55. A lot, like, I love all the biomes. Um, out of all of them, I would- Oh, there's a bloodstalker. 15. Dang it, let me go! Who are you? 140! Hey, the wipe works, guys! Woohoo! <laughs> I started up the tame. Might have to try and parachute over. Oh, there we go. Then punched my way out to sacrifice some moss chops. Nope, hit one of them. Alright. There we go. And the moss chops down there. It reached 100% effectiveness, and so the long tame began. Where I literally sat around for like 30 minutes to tame it, it was incredibly boring, so I'm not going to show that. Okay. I set off with my new tame, getting used to swinging around like a very specific spider-themed superhero. The next morning, I headed over to the looter, grabbing some condensed gas to make a hazard shirt to complete my set. Set of hazmat. I then headed off on a basilo, hunting Nidaria. Tranquilizers. We could like... And starting up locked and loaded. I followed the Plessy's tracks and wrecked its face when I found it. Wave 2 was another easy win. Want the standard Plessy Ozil. And my final battle with the Plessy was Swift. Slowly killing its mega minions. And obtaining the item I was looking for a long neck rifle. Yeah, we got a 139 long neck here. I crafted up some shocking trank darts collecting some mutton, then headed back to the Lunar for tech rexes. 6k, wait, what health was that? That had a... I think that said 7k health. I found a solid 162, so I set up the trap and lured it in. This and one, the sucker out. to starve out. I then found a 180. 180, hello. Ooh, 245. Alright, what do you think, guys? Should we go for a 245 melee? Something. So I trapped it and knocked it out. There we go. He's out. I tamed up a Shine Horn before taming up the 162 Rex. Hmm, not a good situation because the Rex is about to tame. Right. Grabbing some glitches. Then taming the 180. I got the pair breeding, knocked out a Hyomia, then tamed it and a Dung Beetle. Just wait. To finish off the set, I worked on a greenhouse, then grabbed some Black Pearls and Magrasaur eggs. Let's just drop in. They've set it up so they can come and go as they please. Come on, grab the egg. Go! Whoa, okay. Okay, turn around. Go up! Whoa! Go! What are you doing? Stop! Go up! Oh no. I grabbed some obsidian to and turn into polymer, then farmed some polymer from the local penguins, there are more and worked a little more on the greenhouse. I got some perfect stat rexes the next morning, then set off to tame some penguins of my own. I made myself up a chem bench, then headed off to the volcano, failing out of the frying pan due to an erupting Sweet. volcano. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Recovering from the failure, I crafted up an industrial forge, then headed off for the Rhino 500. Now, days 16 and 17 were spent heavily grinding missions. So after completing the Rhino 500, I hunted down and killed a brute Uteranus and Ferox. I would go old. then race to Saber down the mountainside, and then search the frozen landscape for points. Heading to the volcano, I completed Dead Heat and Gotta Go Fast, then searched for some points in the deadly volcanic region. Grab, grab, hello, hello, dude, what the heck was that? I set off to tame some megs to be my brute force. No, ow, can you not? Then tamed an inky and raided some beaver dams. I planted some more crops, farmed some element shards, and completed bottle nosed blitz. First place. And destroyed the most proposal with my megalodons. One. I then hunted a Brute Tuso and leads, then crafted my Harvested Shards into Element. With that element, I forged myself the Mighty Tech Replicator, and crafted my remaining shards into Element. 
crap. I completed Alpha out of the frying pan and another bot hunt. Hatched some Rexes and checked for mutations. Then harvested some Karuku corpses that randomly showed up. I totally have no idea where they came from. That's weird. Crazy man. Oh. Then set off for the Lunar to complete Space Jam. I beat Tokyo Skift in the middle of a meteor shower. Then prepared for the deep sea boss fight. I started the fight by hunting down her eel minions. Then charging motor with my mag army. Wave 1 went down fairly fast, so I slayed more of her kids to get to wave 2. I made Anakin Skywalker proud, beating Gamma Motor once and for all. I started up the beta fight, keeping to the same strategy. I lost uh, my mags sure to a whirlpool, did everybody go into the pit? but when they came back, How the wave went by quickly. The mechs started getting bloody, but I kept pushing on. And finally, she went down, oh, getting this much closer to beating my first goal. Good. Good job, guys. <sighs> we did it. We lost I tamed some ichthys. Prepping some tranks and yeah. then search for some aloes with no success. I headed back to the ocean to complete Beta, who hit the squid, then went back to the hunt for aloes. I trapped and tranked a 145, then found a 135 to pair with it. I got the pair breeding as night approached, prepping for the pain that the next day would bring. I knew I had two challenges to beat today, so I started with Alpha Motor. This biome still has its most AI active. It was a slow and painful fight, losing far too many megs in the first wave alone. Bloody megs fighting for their lives, my confidence was waning. Wave 2 was beaten with more casualties, and my stress only increased. A few more megs fell on the final wave, but it made no difference. Yes! This victory altered a setting in the simulation allowing Hexagon Rewards to be doubled from now on. I knew I couldn't rest, so I collected some points in the depths of the ocean, then set off to hunt a brute rock golem. Huh, will you look at that? Aha! Uh -huh, I found something! Now that's what I call And with that victory, I beat my Day 25 goal of Alpha Motor and 58 missions. 58 missions in 25 days, let's freaking go. Having no time to celebrate though, I got right back into the grind. I started the very long next few days by crafting a GPS, then working on finishing every glitch in the Arctic biome. grabbing some element shards, crystal, and metal. I then yes. continued my glitch hunt, finding the rest of the bog glitches and ocean glitches. Plus, knocking out a Plessy. Nice. Aces, mate. I then started up Alpha Mosa Proposal, and safe to say, this beast hit much harder this time. Nevertheless, each phase fell fairly quickly due to the Meg's bleed and pack boost, and the mission was beat. One, pray zero. I grabbed the Plessy, then leveled up some brute fighting Rexes, and set out for Yudis. I quickly found a 125, so I trapped and started tranking until I, I got distracted by distant Yudi sounds. There's 100% other Yudi around. Oh, sorry, bud. Looks like you're getting replaced. I killed the 125 and then lured the 140 into the trap and knocked him out. Oh, I'm so glad that happened. Okay. Then, while exploring, I randomly found a 130 female already trapped up. And 130. I crafted some more tranks and shotgun shells, barricaded the UD in a little more, 
then knocked her out. I grabbed some mutton the next morning, taming up the two UDs before heading to the Lunar to find more glitches. Aces, mate. I found my final glitch by the end of the day, for a total of 150 glitches in 30 days. After hunting down some rhinos and brewing up Roth Enlightenment, I murderized a few 100 baby rexes to get one single really? level? Wow, okay. After that fail, I decided it was time to work on the base. I crafted up some ceilings, then built and placed some cliff platforms and bridges. I decided to fancify the bridges, then rail it up, before finally making some vaults and moving the crafting stations. I've made myself up a tech generator and industrial grill, set up my motor flags, then farmed some more metal, and completed some point searches on the moon. You're all done. I then did some fishing with nets, completing it with 30 left. seconds to spare. I grabbed more element shards, then started up Alpha who hit the squid. His grab attack made him incredibly vulnerable, and the mission was an absolute breeze because of it. What I, call a hunt. I then started up Alpha chasing the White Whale, and its low damage was no match for my Megs. Hunter 1, Prey 0. I threw out my Plessy and set up a tech force field. I then started up Alpha, rip it, roll it, punch it. What's the worst that can happen? It's not like, you know, one hit will kill the babies or anything. The shield kept all opposing dinos at bay, making this mission an easy victory. I then started up Alpha Locked and Loaded, and though my megs did damage, so did the Brute Plessy. I felt a little wary going into wave 3. After all my megs were decimated, and my second wave was completely destroyed, I cancelled the mission. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna have to back up and uh, do it on... or try to grab some meg saddles from one hell of a treasure hunt. Continuing on, I started up Alpha Echo of a Classic. And as the force field kept the wild dinos out, it was another easy win. I trapped and tranked to level 95 Pariser, and did a quick run of out of the frying pan. Now, go, go, go! Then grabbed my new Pariser. Now the next few days were spent doing some heavy mission grinding. So enjoy the montage. Right, there we go. Let's do this. Oh my gosh!
this. means I have 116 missions done. No! And we're back! The next while was spent working on saddles and weapons for the Master Controller, of which all the blueprints were obtained through fishing. I needed to do the Gamma Master Controller to obtain the Tech Hover Skiff. I did some final prep work before finally setting off. Here's our final test survival. Everything we did prepared us for this, but I'm detecting some recent edits in this part of the simulation. To save some suspense for if I actually reach Alpha, we'll just skip through the steps. Wave 1 through 3 require me to drop off code keys at the code breaker, allowing me to move to the next phase. Let's do this! Wave 4 requires me to again collect code keys, but this time to knock down the Master Controller's shield. For Gamma, it's pretty easy. The hardest part is dealing with the creatures. Yes! Yes! Let's go! And with that, the hover skiff was mine. I crafted my new machine and kitted it out, then went out farming some element shards. Now of course, I knew I couldn't take a break, so I decided to jump straight into the alpha brutes. I started with the brute Megaloceros. I found a mini cheese method with hide and seek where the Brute Ferox would eventually turn into its smaller form and despawn. This made the mission incredibly easy. Mammoths on Parade caused some struggles, oh thank you, oh. and ruffle some feathers let me cheese it, I don't know how or why that worked, but I'm not gonna complain. And cheaper by the pack fell easily. I beat Technological Terrors, Captain's Conquest, and King of the Moon all on camera difficulty. I then completed Wheel Rock You and bought an insane red crate. Holy cow! That thing is insane! What? 
I then got my Magmasaur's Breeding, slew the Brute Magmasaur and X-Rex, then tamed a Basilisk. Oh, so boring! <laughs> now why tame a Basilisk, you might ask? Hey. Well, Basilisk Spit does full damage to Alpha Brutes, which we now heavily utilize hunt. later. <sighs> For now, I used it to complete Swamp Placid and Web Search, then took down Spy vs. Spino. Hunt. Day 65 had very little happen, only beating Aloe and Goodbye. On day 66, I tested a Cheese Theory, of which got me a win on It's a Bug Hunt, Hunt on Beta and Alpha. She's down! Yes! Oh my gosh! Let's go! I did a quick gamma run, then completed Hunting by Moonlight on Gamma Difficult. Now that's what I, I then completed a Captain Conquest and King of the Moon. Hunter Barely managing this little item. On. <sighs> Knowing they were my last missions, I beat Gamma. And Beta like and Alpha don't feel the reaper. Let me scan this right Time to get out of here. And here. I then start up Beta Bog Ready Beta, weapon, grabbing a spear and slaying swarms of bugs, reptiles, herbivores, carnivores, Yo. and finally all of them combined. I took down the giant swarm, then dealt with the broodmother and one. Final Sarko. Bring it, Buster. That's how it's done, huh? Yes! Let's freaking go! <laughs> Completing 162 missions solo. However, I need 168 missions to beat Alpha. So, I brought a friend along to complete the multiplayer basketball missions. No. And Ready well, uh, run, hold on. I kind of dunked on her. Oh God, five, four, three, two, one. one. Last dunk. No. <laughs> ah. Okay, maybe all that was just a fluke. Ow. Yes. Get back here. Yes, yes. And the winning point goes to Kitty. Yeah, no, no, that was no fluke. 168 missions. In 69 days, I finished the day with a few more crafting skill blueprints. The next few days were spent on the grind, leveling rexes, getting my kit together, farming chasing the white whale, cooking brews and stews, and crafting ammunition. With no time left to waste, we headed in. Everybody's in! Alright. Coordinates confirmed. Teleport complete. Here's our final test survivor. Everything we did prepared us for this, but I'm detecting some recent edits in this part of the simulation. Welcome to the final test, and your final moments of life. Let's do this. Speech, but your failure is inevitable. A key just dropped. Grab it, quick! Oh, you guys are dedicated to this spot. The code breaker won't work unless we feed it some keys. Insert key to code breaker. That's how you do it. Dude, you guys want to move from that one spot? This is a test all night, but it's a test to fail. I want worthy servants for my new world. I see what happened over there. This test will break defiant failures like you. That's enough keys. I'll start hacking us to teleport. We're about to teleport. You ready? <laughs> I didn't want food, but okay. Okay, first phase. Throw the poop out. I altered the entire simulation for a new purpose. To find worthy servants who will appreciate the new world out there. But you're too rebellious and thus unworthy. There we go. Next phase. That's enough keys. I'll start hacking this teleport. Phase two. Dare complete, I guess. On to phase three. Your creator and did not foresee my involvement, but she should have. She knew it quite well, and she was always underestimated. I look forward to telling her you failed. 
There we go. All right, final phase. Let's do this. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry. But keep challenging me, and I may unplug this entire simulation. All right, remember, boys. Everyone on aggressive. Oh, Giga, 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 Giga. I need better armor. Ah! There are heaps of keys on the ground. Pick them up and take them to the code breaker. Okay. We go, we go, we go. Giga, Giga! You cannot pack your way to victory here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out of the way! Out of the dang way! I think I did it. I think I did it. I hope you would have learned from all the punishment I did. We're making good time though, but we're not. The Rexes aren't doing well. I shot 10 counts. Out of the way. Out of the way. Okay, Reaper right there. Gotta be careful. Come on. Come on. Come on. 75,000. We just need 75,000. There we go. There we go. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Behold, your demise approaches. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm the one beating you right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, one more. Come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Once and for all, Rockwell. Twelve K. Ten K. 8K, 6K, 4K, one more! Yes! Let's go! Yes! Let's freaking go! <laughs> 75 days, Alpha Gen 1, let's go! Just, uh, 
Hang in there for a second. There! Good news. Your armor kept you mostly in one piece. So, quick update. This isn't a simulation. We're really on a ginormous spaceship. And the ship's being taken over by... <laughs> now what are you two little gnats up to? This is to be mine. Okay, time to get away from all these tentacles and prying eyes. This might feel a bit weird. Knowing I had a colony ship to save, I got right to work. I crafted up a pick and hatchet, harvested some corpses, gathered some drops. Alright, I really like Then started working down missions. Alright. This scenario must have been an attempt to make running network missions more fun. Making jumps, climbing walls, failing hops, and clinging to the ceiling. Circuit Chase was down. Woo! I tamed the nearby moss chops, then started up Slide and Glide. Gliding through caves, canyons, and up air vents, then sliding through a long cavern, I completed the mission. I then started up Gamma down river road. I did that in under 5 minutes, there's no way I just did that. No way! Under 5? How? What? I decided to attempt Alpha because of this. Turning corners, passing rocks and pillars, yes! jumping waterfalls and dodging boulders, I saw the final point. No way, no way, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please, 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 come on! No! 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 <laughs> Second try was a success, however. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, yes! Ah! Second try! Let's go! I then started up slipstream sweep, drifting and jumping, dodging fan blades, and making impossibly high turns. I attempted Alpha Start often. But after failing two runs, I switched to Starling Strike. This is so stupid. Dodging lasers, comets, and failing squeezes. Squeeze! Ah, I did squeeze. I completed another alpha Boom. mission. Boom! Boom! I then went out to the asteroid field, harvesting mutagel and metal. I then crafted up some downer gates and trapped a 145 Maywin. Then got a basic setup down. I bought some Norca berries and crafted narcotics, then knocked the mailing out. There we go. Hunting an Ovis to tame it up. Our missing crew called the Stuckfield Rider a Maven. I moved bases as we hurtled through space, then found myself a harvesting strider. Hey, mining droid. I tamed the giant tech beast and brought it back to base. I then set off for Rockwell's garden, farming fungal wood and taming a glowtail. Then crafting some fish baskets. I hunted for some high quality fish. Then started up Survive the Ark on Gamma difficulty. I used a spear to get the points for cluster grenades, then completed the wave. I saved points till I could buy a tech bow, which won me wave after wave. Till finally it was just me and the dodos. When the dodo rex arrived, I bought a dragon. Slayed the beast and finished the wave with ease. I then farmed a few drops, getting some very solid rewards. I finished the day by making up a stone trap, then set off for Rockwell's Garden once more. I found myself a 150 Shadow Man, so after setting up the trap and getting it in, I started the tame. I found myself a 145 female the next morning. Hello? So I tamed it up as well. Oh, 
Okay. I got my two fish kitties breeding and tamed a dodo. I attempted another run at Star Dolphin, but failed at the final phase. Crap, other way! No! I then set off for more drop hunting, finding some amazing drops. Oh, hello! Yes, oh my word! I then went out to the asteroid fields to farm thousands of elements and decided to tame an Astrodelphus. The next morning, I got myself an imprint of Shadow Mane, then set off a Verlanosaurus stock. And then my computer crashed, deleting the footage. So waking after the success, I checked Shadow Mane's stats, then while hunting for Spinos, found this beast. Hello. I knew I couldn't pass it up, so I built up a trap, lured it in, and eventually I knocked it out. I then found some high level spinos, knocking them all out, and taming them. That is... I then found a mate for my gig. Oh, there's a gig. Nice. Female. Yes! And though its level wasn't the best, I knew I needed it. I trapped it up and knocked it out, then tranked out a nearby Spino. I tamed the pair up, then started start off in once again. Should be able to plug you back into the simulation from here. I knew my route at this point, killing drones, turrets, and corrupted avatars. And getting through the first firewall. Hold on, hold on! Try to open the firewall. The second firewall was a little too close. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez, that was too close. But I still made it through. My next task was to defend the Replicator subsystem by defeating Hover Skips and enemy Astrodelphus. The whale got free, and a familiar foe showed his face once more. After being in the simulation for 75 days, I knew the method to take him down. So I knocked down his armor and whittled down his health. Finally beating the corrupted master controller once and for all. Now that the replication is freed up, I should be able to bolster resources throughout the ship. The next day was spent grinding out some hunt missions, beating Frog's Coal, and Shadow Man Prowl, with the loss of a Giga. Okay. I found a drop with some cliff platforms, so I extended the base, then farmed some crystal. With it, I crafted myself an industrial grinder. And after grinding all the junk I had collected, I crafted up a tech replicator. With it, I made up a tech generator and Astrodelpha saddle. And though I didn't show it much, I used my new fighter jet a lot. I then started maiming Poach, using rare flowers to keep their aggros. No, 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 no. It was long and tedious, but eventually I beat the mission. Yes! I set up my Shadow Maid mutations the next morning, then found a shotgun. Shotgun! Let's go! Tech sword. Hello. And tech rifle from some blue drops. Yes! Tech rifle! Let's go! Which I spent the rest of the day farming. I decided to map Bronto for berry collection, and while I tamed, I found an incredibly good phase pistol. I grabbed some berries and fancied up my armor, then made a tech hover skiff and tech sleeping pot. I leveled up my imprinted Spino and Shadow Man the next day, then started up Alpha Life Support. Back into the simulation from here. Ugh, 
no one can breathe easy while Rockwell's in charge of the ship's ventilation. The first stage, I had to kill 10 VR dinos, then memorize the sequence code. That's pink. That's blue. For the second stage, I had to repair air tanks and slay more VR dinos to get out of the room faster. I used the time between the rooms to heal my Shadow Man, then started up stage 3. This stage combines everything, slaying VR dinos, repairing air brain. supply tanks, and putting in the correct sequence code. On the third entry, a mech knight atop a strider emerged, but after a few power hits with my Shadow Man, the strider fell. That's how the, problem solved. the mech knight soon followed, Yes, freeing up air supply. Well done! I'll have the ship purge Rockwell's toxins and start pumping out something no more story. Because of his unwavering strength, I named my Shadow Main Samson. The next day, I decided to attempt Pariser Roundup, keyword being attempted. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm dead. There's... Cancel, cancel! Ow. I attempted another run, but my Tecpo was no match for the Rexes. What are you doing? You just no! You idiot! I spent the rest of the day drop hunting and slaying alphas, hoping to blow off some steam. The next morning, I spent harvesting mutagel, then crafted up some gear for the missions to come. I decided to start up Code Red, but after getting locked in with a bunch of bugs and getting decimated, oh no, let me in, 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 let me in! Jeez! Jeez Louise! I decided to switch to choose your own adventure instead. The first stage required me to slay VR That's creatures. Then go in the most common colors door. Stage 2 had me step on pressure plates. And step through the most common colors door. Stage 3 had me collect keys, and yeah, I think you get the idea by now. Green. That I am. The final stage faced me up against a macro summoner, and I had to step on appropriately colored pressure plates, slay his summoner minions, then use the time given to take him down. After a few waves, the summoner stood no chance. Yes! Let's go! Alpha CYOA done. Then, I reset the ships in pieces to stop pumping out mutagens, and switch over to therapeutics. Yeah, I said I got a tech... Uh, I then started up Code Red again, leaping over the maze and gliding into an access tunnel. I dealt with a few bugs, then ran for a ramp, where I destroyed defense units. I used the terminal to override the system, killed a few VR birds, then headed over Come to the on. next stage. Let me in! Knowing I couldn't save all the biopods, I hung out in the final room and healed my Shadow Man. At this point, I had to head into tight quarters and activate terminals, launching VR dinos to attack me. Okay, that could have been worse. I did get through it pretty easily. Huge, huge. Both stages went with miraculously no struggles. Boom, clean, so clean. So I activated the final terminal and headed for my final target. I cracked open the experimental gigapod, then hopped up to where the genome creatures had been hiding. For some reason, the Giga could hit me from there. It in fact can still bite me from here. So I tried switching sides, at which point he couldn't reach me. Okay, it can't seem to bite me from here. Sure 
And there we are. Oh my gosh. Okay. Shut down Rockwell's fire. I spent the next while trying to work on breeding lines, then attempted bulb dog fetch. Unsuccessful. I just can't get the torpor in fast enough. I start another run of Ferox Coal for the damage resistance, and beat a few rounds of Volanosaur stock, prepping for the looming mission ahead. I started up Alpha Survive the Ark the next day. Nervous for how this intense fight for pacification systems would go. I ran for the spear, then headed for a corner. Okay, I chugged a beer, then started whacking everything that came into the corner. <laughs> this strat was already working far better than I had ever believed. So make sure to check out the creator who figured out this epic strat. Link in the description. Each wave fell with ease, with nothing really being able to do serious damage to me. Come on. The only challenge was waiting out beer timers, but that really only caused minor annoyances. Ah, sugar plums. Once wave 10 hit though, I switched weapons to the Tech Claws. I built up damage at the training dummy and absolutely destroyed the Zom Dodos. When the Dodorex arrived, I bought some Dimorphs as a distraction and started taking down the giant beast and eventually whittled down the beast's health. No way! Let's go! I spent the next couple days grinding drops and taming snow owls, then leveling some boss dinos and healing them up. I then re-attempted Pariser Roundup one final time, and this time the Giga was doing work. I focused the Rexes, then trank the babies to avoid mate boosts, slowly completing the mission. Choo. Come on! Oh, so close! Oh, that was too close. Eventually, it was down Come to on. two Parasers. And this was minorly concerning. I managed to save the two, but one was incredibly low health. I tried to heal it up, but deciding it wasn't worth it, I moved to the other Parasar. After tranking it out, I went back to the weak buddy, and just barely managed to trank him out before the timer went. Come on, we're almost there. Oh, thank you. I then attempted Bulb Dog Fetch, but after they destroyed my Giga, I knew I wasn't beating this mission. At least, alone. Hi! With Nat's help, I started up Alpha Bulb Dog Fetch. We followed the footprints and found our prey. Found and their predators. God, I forget how so Whoa, yeah, these things are right. stupidly powerful. <laughs> rip, rip, Giga. <laughs> I'll hop what? off the Giga. Yes. <laughs> yeah. See, and eat by just eating the rare flowers, they all get angry at me. Thing. My desk, or my uh. What? What? No! <laughs> I can't, I can't get up there. Uh, no, nope, they're on me. Oh, that's good. Come on, off the cliff you go. There you go. Well, I mean, okay, I guess that, that works. works. Okay. Ah! Uh-oh. They're up. <laughs> crap, 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 Nice. That's always a good sign. I'm just running past. Hopefully, up. Oh, <laughs> Giga's raged. And it's out. All right, I'm just gonna. Huh? 
No! no. Wait, what? I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I just it, it won. Hey, we did it. We did <laughs> it. Totally as intended. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but I'm not gonna complain. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what happened. And so with that, I had all alpha missions done, and was ready for my final fight. Following me, lost a few hundred megawatts of false plasma through you. You really couldn't just 
cooperate and die. No, 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 not you, no. You insist on surviving and making a nuisance of yourselves. All of your tiresome meddling has come to nothing. Sorry, mate. I gave it everything I got. I don't have any more primary energy to power the Exomet again. You really are, Helena Walker. No one else has ever been so singularly irritating. Now that we've arrived at the threshold of my new dominion, I can afford to give you my undivided attention. And this, this is where your little game comes to an end. All right, everybody on him. I'm gonna be hanging back. I'm gonna deal damage from afar. Go on, waste your effort. I love damage. Over this shit now, and I can't be destroyed. Certainly not by the likes of you. I'm not so sure about it. You did say we had your undivided attention, and when we took back the ship's systems. I trapped you in here with us. It seems you trapped me. Let me out. I will not allow you to spoil my ascension, my goodhood. Generations put all their hopes and dreams into this mission. You don't belong here, and we won't allow you to steal their future. I am their future, damn you! Let me go! Enough! This ends now! You! Your survival ends here! Got him in killed, but we're fine. We got this. <laughs> we're almost there. Just a few more hits. There it is. All right, I'm using all my reserves. The Exomech is back online one last time. Get in. Blast the bugger, and let's end this survivor. Do this, and you do your precious mission. How are you doing? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Because I assure you, I will take this shit down with me. We're at like 200. <sighs> gosh, wow, okay. I'd better start that rig separation sequence now. You know, just in case this doesn't, uh, work. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice my health. I am low.
for wanting the same power she squandered. Well, I've survived worse. I promise you, I will find a way out of this. I will. No, you won't. It's much too late for that. It's alive. Helena? I'm afraid. Find your own path. Your own destiny. 